y'all, I am making a simple dinner tonight, and my husband loves barbecue chicken, he loves potatoes, and he loves cornbread. So I'm combining all three of those tonight and making up my own little concoction, but I'm using um, Martha White cornbread mix. Um, not making my own tonight, I'm making it real easy. And normally I would do this in a cast iron frying pan in the oven or just a, a baking pan in the oven, but I'm going to do it tonight in our secret center cake pan. Um, I've showed the secret center cake pan many times. It comes with two cake pans and you get one big piece that you can put in the middle and bake your cake around it. And then when you invert your cake, that hole will be there and you can fill that up with cream cheese or frosting or sprinkles, whatever, gender reveal, color frosting, lots of different things. So today I'm using can't take it out because I've already put some butter on it. I'm using the one that has lots of little hidden centers. And when it's done and I come back on, we'll invert it and you'll be able to see all those. And I'm gonna shred my barbecue chicken and put it on top of the cornbread. So, so far what I have done is just went ahead and mixed up my muffin mix. You only have to add one egg and a half a cup of milk. So it's very, very easy to do. I did this in the three cup prep bowl. It comes with a lid, and y'all know if you've watched me often by now that I'm a visual person. These come, I get a lot of questions on these. They're oven safe and microwave safe, freezer safe. They all have lids and they come in a set of three. So you get a three cup size, a two cup size, and a one cup. They have measure marks on them. Um, so I was able to pour my half cup milk in without getting a measuring cup and then I added my egg and my muffin mix. So I'm going to put this in. I've already got a sheet pan in the oven with some potatoes and carrots and Brussels sprouts. I like the Brussels sprouts, my husband doesn't. But I'm going to bake the um, roasted veggies longer than it takes this cornbread. So I went ahead and started it. But when I come back and this is done, I'll have everything done to show you. I'm trying to get all of this out. Okay, so I just want to make sure that I've got the top covered of my little secret center pan in there. I've got two mixes, but I think one is going to be enough. I've never fixed the cornmeal muffin in this pan before, so we shall see. So while this is baking, I'm gonna cook my barbecue chicken. And if you know it, I'm gonna cook it in the three quart micro cooker in the microwave. And I know some of you just turned them noses right up about that microwave chicken, but I promise you, this little magic pot, it's juicy, it's tender, it's delicious. I was the same way when somebody first told me to microwave my chicken, I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. So I have four chicken thighs. My husband likes the dark meat. So I'm gonna put those four thighs right in here. I've had these today in a little water bath. I call it a brine with salt water. So I've had them soaking in the refrigerator in that salt water all day. So I'm not going to season them. Put that down so I can put it right over here with my chicken. So I'm just going to put this in. You really don't have to put the lid on, but I'm going to. I'm gonna put this in the microwave for seven minutes and this will go in the oven with my um, roasted veggies and it says for about 17 minutes. So we will check on that and see. So I'll start this and my chicken. I've got my homemade barbecue sauce made. One of my daughters has already come and picked up her jar. I make some very often and they always want refills in their jars. So we're gonna come back in a minute and put all this together, so y'all stay tuned. My roasted veggies are done. You can probably hear them sizzling. I used a large stone bar pan. I love cooking on the stoneware. And they look delicious. Okay, y'all, my veggies are done and they look delicious. My cornbread cake was an epic fail, so I'll explain that to you. I'm so disappointed because all the cakes I have ever done have come out perfect in this, 
but it wasn't enough batter. So when I inverted it, I had to pick the pieces around this off. And I'd already done that and moved them out of the way. Um, but it just didn't have enough batter to bake over these. So normally when you lift this piece up, those holes would be in the cake or in my case tonight, cornbread, but it just did not have enough batter in the pan. But that's okay, we're gonna eat this cornbread anyway. I just hate that it didn't make the cute little cups for you to see. So this is the other insert right there. I'll do a cake too soon so you can see how it's supposed to look. So I'm going to take my chicken. I love cooking chicken in this micro cooker. And I'm only gonna take since I don't have all these little holes to fill up, I'm only gonna take a couple pieces out and shred them up. If I can get my hands on them. The chicken makes its own juice when it cooks in that micro cooker, y'all see that? And I did get my meat thermometer and check it, and it is perfect temperature actually a little higher than it should be. So what I am going to do, and what I'm going to do for this purpose, is to use these salad choppers. I love them for meats, more so than I do green salad stuff, because I don't have to wait. You can see that chicken is steaming hot. I don't have to wait for my meats to cool when I want to shred that. So my goal in this meal was to be able to shred this chicken, and put a little bit in each one of those holes, but it didn't work. But that's all right. It's still edible and it's, it looks good. I just didn't have enough for the depth of those wells. Okay, so let me move that out of the way. I'm gonna put some of this barbecue sauce in here. Mix that up. This is so yummy. And it's just a fun way to serve things differently. Just to have a little change in your typical barbecue chicken. So I didn't shred it like you would shred maybe for taco. You can shred it as fine as you want to. I just kind of chopped it into chunks. So we're going to pretend there's a little hole right there. <laughs> and put it right there on it. Okay. I will know. Uh, I'll do another one here. It was going to be so cute, y'all. It's all right. Mm, that barbecue sauce smells so good. So you kind of get the visual of it, although I did not have the individual wells to fill up, but I have a pretty shaped cornbread, some delicious barbecue chicken, and some good roasted veggies. That pan is too hot for me to pick it up, so I'll let you look at those again. I cooked those on the large stone bar pan and just a little olive oil, salt, pepper, and paprika, and it is yummy. So we have some barbecue chicken, nice roasted veggies, and some pretend um, cornbread wheels. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will share the chicken recipe and the cornbread recipe with you, although it was very simple to do, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.